Vocabulary list 45 is about beginnings and endings, uh, departures and arrivals. So we're gonna start with a sign for alarm or bell. You want a flat handshape on your non-dominant hand, a one handshape on your dominant hand, and you will, your um, palms don't face each other. Your palm faces out on your dominant hand. And you go back and forth with your wrist for the movement for alarm or bell. We're going to look at two different signs for the sign for arrive. Um, the general sign for arrive, like, hey, he has arrived, he got here, is two flat hand shapes with your palms facing you over your dominant shoulder. So your right shoulder if you're right-handed, your left shoulder if you're left-handed. You will um, move your dominant hand from your shoulder down. Now it doesn't touch your shoulder, it's just at your shoulder and comes down, arrive, arrive. An airplane arriving, on the other hand, would be an airplane arriving or landing, okay? So although this is kind of a general sign for arrive and it, it's definitely used for uh, people getting somewhere, if a plane arrives, it lands, arrival of a plane. All right, same thing with the sign for depart or leave. Departure, you want two flat hand shapes for the general sign for departure. The two flat hand shapes, palms facing down, again, over your dominant shoulder, you're going to close into an A hand shape as you come up over your shoulder, okay? Depart or leave, take off. Now, if it's a plane taking off, that would be depart or leave or take off. Um, there is another sign that, that is similar. Well, that means take off also. Um, it kind of the way we use it in English. Like if I say, I'm going to leave now, I would sign this. If I say, I'm going to take off, I'm just getting out of here kind of thing. Uh, the sign for that is take off. Is there a big difference between this and this? No, they're very similar. Depart or leave and then Take off, I'm out of here. And you do kind of hit, you slap your hand as you do it this way. Now, this is your dominant hand because it, it's the one that moves. Take off. Um, the next sign is finish, which we've talked about before. And, and it just means to be done, it's over. So you wanna start with your two, two five hand shapes, right? Start with your palms to you, and then you, you flip in the wrist till your palms face out, finish, done. There is a, uh, like a specific mouth morpheme that goes with the sign for finish, and it looks like fish. So when you sign finish, you should say, but don't say it, fish, all right? So like this. The sign for late is you kind of stick your elbow out and drop your hand down, and then you flap <laughs> at your wrist, um, flap your hand at your wrist, okay? That's late, late. And it doesn't have to be really high. I was just kind of showing you that, late. Early can be signed three ways that I know of. Maybe there are more. Um, one is early, early. So sorry. So S hand shape on your non-dominant hand, palm facing down, 25, birthday, what's up, handshape on your dominant hand, early. If you repeat it like I was doing a minute ago, that means available. So just one time, early, <clears throat> early. The next way to sign early is kind of cool because it comes from the sign for rooster. This is the sign for rooster. Early, because you know, roosters, crow, early. It comes out this way, early, early. Early. The last one is it's it's called a loan sign. So it's it's become a sign. It comes from fingerspelling the, the English word early, but now it's a, just its own sign. So E A R L Y, but there's a whole movement that goes to it. 
early. It's a circular movement. So early. And it's very fast. I'm not very good at it. early. Um, I like this one and this one. But um, early is also signed. All right, last three. Train. We've already talked about airplanes. We're going to talk about trains. Um, two U hand shapes, palm facing down. Put your dominant hand on top and go back and forth, back and forth like that. Okay. Train. And then we're going to end with the sign for start or begin and the sign for end. So you want a five hand shape on your non dominant hand with your palm sideways for the sign for start and a one. <clears throat> You're going to put your one in between your first two fingers there and turn it like you're turning a key in a car to start it, okay? So that's start or begin. And you do have to start with your palm out and then you turn it towards you, okay? On your dominant hand. Start or begin. And then the sign for end, sometimes you can use finish for end, but technically the sign for end is end. So a flat hand shape on your non-dominant hand with your palm facing you, flat hand shape on your dominant hand, Palm facing sideways, and you just drop down. End. End. All right, that is vocabulary list 45, beginnings and endings.